afternoon, Neil from Magpie Brewing. So a few days ago, a few days, a couple of days ago, I put up a video on setting up the new Hydrom. Hydrom's a German made and manufactured floating electronic hydrometer and it's available in Australia from to purchase from Keg King. Pretty reasonable price. So I've been playing around with this and in my in my video I in I was gonna set up in Brewer's Friend and Brew Father and uni dots if I could. So I've been playing with it a bit and I found out a few things about it so at the end of this video I'll, I'll show you a few things about it but I have integrated it with both Brewer's Friend and Brew Father and all I done I had an iPad next to me with the electronic manual up from hydrom.iu go down to the bottom of the page and then you see introduction and if you open that introduction page you get the electronic manual up and the electronic manual is so easy to follow guys honestly um, I was actually going to follow it and film while I was following it and I give it a trial run you know just to see that it would work and it was so simple I don't think you really need anyone to show you how to do it really so I've gone ahead and I, I put it I've got it monitoring in Brewer's Friend and Brew Father. Now it's sending information to both at the one time. So again that's good. You don't you don't need to hook in a follower or a follow-up. All you need to do is put both areas in. Oh pardon me, I'm I'm drinking an ESB. Um, yeah, all you need to do is, is tab both, set both up, and you could probably set up another two or three, and it'll send to all of them from what I can see. The other thing I have done is, I know in the earlier video I had it set for 58 minutes, I've only, I reset it up for 15 minutes and 30 seconds. The reason I've done that, in the instructions, it says that the hydrom takes um, I think it was 23 seconds 13 or 23 seconds to wake from its deep sleep and then it sends its data and then it just drops back to deep sleep both of the programs Brew Father and Brewer's Friend will not accept readings below 15 minutes so what I done to make sure I got a reading is I set it for 15 minutes and 30 so I, I should get a reading about every 16 minutes and I was getting that I've had three reading or two readings on both programs so far three on Brew Father I think so that's working it's working fine the other thing I did do I'll, I'll at the end of the video uh, I'll mention a few things I've done but um, the the reason I've, I've set it back to 15 minutes and 30 is I'm going to do a a bit of a comparison with my Tilt Tilt Pro and I'm going to set them both at uh, 15 minutes and 30 seconds or around that time because I want to monitor the battery usage now that is one good thing about the Hydron as per the ice spindle and look I wouldn't know any of the others I really wouldn't I wouldn't know what the pill does I wouldn't know what the pill shows you or that because I don't have one never used one I wouldn't know what any other electric electronic hydrometer does floating hydrometer because I've only ever used tilts which do not show you battery usage 
and ice spindles and they do show you and this one does show battery usage and how much power is left so that's what we're going to do in the trial so I'll jump on the computer we'll have a bit of a look at uh, what I've done and as I said guys oh it's easy it, it really is I mean um, follow the instructions and you won't go wrong I'll be back shortly okay so now we're in screen capture I'll just have a drink of this beautiful beer Oh geez, it's all right. I used East Kent Golding and put Cascade in it. And, oh gee, the Casca Cascade comes out beautiful. But now, one of the first things that happened on the Hydrom when I upgraded the firmware is now I see this 1.001 SG and then I've got in brackets 0, 0.0 bracket SG. I haven't sent an email to Torben yet, but I will do. It's just a query on it. So that's fine. Temperature. Now when you go into settings, you'll see now that he has a temperature factor. So... I'm, I'm thinking with that that you can actually get your temperature right. So I put a glass thermometer in. Moment th thermometer's currently reading about 22 and a half, 23. So it's quite accurate. Tilt unit at specific gravity. And the new firmware version that I have will recognise if it's upside down and it'll shut the unit down I believe but if we go back up to update you'll see I've got 1.3.4 now when I first bought the unit I had 1.3.1 and following the instructions I went that way now services I've got I've got the unit set for 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Pardon me. The reason I've done that, when I had it set for 14 minutes and 43 seconds or whatever, I Torben says it takes 16 seconds or something to come out of a deep sleep and send information. Now Brewer's friend will not let you. And Brewfather's the same, I think. I don't use Brewfather a lot, but Brewfather won't let you take a reading under 15 minutes. So I've got it set for 15 minutes and 30 seconds. And I'm going to do this on my test batch, but then I'll go out to an hour. I don't know. I don't care what a brew's doing every 15 minutes. I, I'm quite happy to look at it every hour and get a bit more out of the battery. So... Brewfather. To integrate into Brewfather, you just tick Brewfather. You put your server in. Is log Brewfather.net. Port is 80. And then you go stream and your Brewfather ID. So you find your Brewfather ID. Let's just open Brewfather up. You find your Brewfather ID when you go settings. And then you get all your tools. So for the Hydron, you tick custom stream. And then you get a number, an ID number. So you copy that ID number. And you put that in stream equals ID question mark. 
and then I sent saved it so I went down save now the page just refreshes so that means your information is saved so then you go and you send a test message and save same thing will happen the page will refresh then you come up into devices and you'll see the hydrom or whatever if you've renamed the hydrom you'll see the the name of the hydrom it'll give you what the test message sent which is thus then when you go to batches you need to attach it into a batch so I just went into one of my old recipes um, I just started a recipe up and in fermentation uh, oh you go brew and then it'll give you a batch number and then when you go into fermenting what you do when you hit devices you'll see the hydrom come up so then you just click on attach hydrom and what will happen after that the hydrom will go into a deep sleep or you can put it into a deep sleep and in 15 or whatever you want the hydrom will send well the hydrom will send the information to brew father and there we have it so so far I've had three readings I believe my last reading was at 1521 which is 1539 now so but I had it turned off so bang that's brew father in a nutshell and brew father was easy went straight in but when <laughs> when I when I done when I done the brewers friend same process when I done brewers friend port 80 I done the ice spindle and I done the SG and my brewers friend number Um, I didn't get I didn't get the message Torben said you would get so Torben says if you go into my brewing my profile integrations ice spindle or you can go into any of the ice see and there you go that one that I just done it's 19 minutes ago so it picked it up I've I done exactly the same thing in Brewers Friend I done a dummy brew and I brewed it and I, I hooked the ice spindle up now the ice spindle come up in my integrations tab so it showed me all everything but it's come in in Plateau which I will now uh, give you a look at so in my brew sessions I done a bits and bobs wasn't a bad brew that one neither I was just using all my old grain all my old hops all and I just slapped it together and put her in and it came out wonderful so now I've got a 1002 gravity I've got everything there so while I didn't get that message first up I actually um, I actually got the message and as you can see last update was 20 minutes ago from the hydrom 001 and because I've taken it out shut it down and restarted it it'll take it'll be a bit longer to get another message so it does work it's just a bit fiddly 
the all you got to do with Brewer's Friend, I think, is be a bit patient with it. Now, what you got to do to get it to send. We'll just pick it up unless it's gone to sleep on me. It's gone to sleep on me. So you've got to put it into a deep sleep and it will it will not send to your programs until it's in a deep sleep. So because it's currently in a deep sleep, I can't access it through the web interface. So that's Brewer's friend and, uh, and uh, Brew father in a nutshell, and uh, they were quite easy. Okay, cheers. Ah, drinking an ESB I brewed. I don't think I actually put it up on the web, on YouTube. Um, I like those European beers and, and German and Belgian beers and even the Pommy beers. I shouldn't say Pommy, I suppose. Even the English beers. Um, what i done with this one, just because I like to fiddle and play around, I was going to say fiddle and fart. So what I've done with this bloke is uh, I put equal amounts of East Kent Gold in and Cascade in it. And the Cascade really comes through. It's only about 4 point, like it's about 4.9%. I've got a hot glass now, I've been sitting here sucking on it for a while. So, and this was bottle, look at that. <laughs> Hot glass, don't you love them? Look at it, hot glass. But these beers go better a few temperatures higher, a few degrees higher, in my opinion. Like, but anyway, back to the video. So you've just seen the Hydrom in action. We've set it up in Brewer's Friend and Brewfather successfully. Now Brewfather went in easy. It was, it, it was first go, um, I got email notification that uh, a new device had been put into the system. And then on the first, on, on the first um, reading that it sent, I also got a notification that um, I'd had information sent from the hydrometer to the program. So, <clears throat> Brewer's Friend. <clears throat> Look, Brewer's Friend wasn't hard. It, it it was just that when you follow the manual, the Brewer's Friend shows that um, the developer, he got some information in Show All Devices. I didn't get that. But what I did do, I done my dummy brew as mentioned, and I just went into Ice Spindle and it was there. Hydrom, 001. So I linked it to the dummy brew and it worked. It, it sent messages. So it didn't quite pan out the way I thought it would. And it didn't send the test message or didn't receive the test message. Um, but it, went, it, it recognised it. Uh, so, you know. Anyway, the thing is it did work. I... I've emailed now, I've emailed the developer of the Hydrom a few times. Geez, an approachable fellow. He really is. Um, I've had a lot of help from from him 
just in explanations and things that I wasn't sure of. Now, one of one of the things that I asked in an email when you when you first set it up, it tells you that it comes uncalibrated. So I asked him about that, and what it is is when he manufactures on the machinery, uh, it's quite a complex process of course because it's all self-weighted so uh, he he says that all the calculations are done on his machinery and his and uh, when he builds the, the units and puts them on his on his test equipment and so clear water calibration should be sufficient so I've taken him at his word on that and so I'm not going to do a seven point calibration like I was going to do before I used it. I'm just going to put it in the brew alongside a Tilt Pro and compare them. Now the other things I found out, once you've set it up, when you turn it on, you just get a flick of a red light. So it's set up. you see that? Did it come on? But if you press that button, just press it briefly, you'll get a green light. Once you've got the green light up, you can access it through the interface on Hydrom 001 or whatever you've called it or um, 192 or my mine is 192.168.1.51 and you can make your changes if for some reason you've done something to it and you want to do a factory reset all you do is you turn it on and you hold that button in for 10 seconds. It'll do a factory reset. And then you just set it all up again then. Um, I done a firmware upgrade. So I went to the firmware page and I done that via the interface. Green light on. Down to update. When this was delivered it was 1.3.1 the firmware and I thought I, I had a look at that electronic manual updated it to 1.3.4 it was a funny process and I'll email the developer about it it worked it, it did work but GB patient don't go turning it off don't touch it just leave it make sure it's plugged in Number one, make sure it's plugged in, the battery's plugged in. Download the firmware, and it seems, look, it, it may be the only clumsy thing that I've sort of worked out about it, but I'm sure it's not clumsy with explanation. So I'll look for an explanation from uh, Torben, or Tobin, Torben, I'm sorry, I, I can't pronounce his name, I, I, I shouldn't try and say it but I like to call people by their first name. So I'll contact him and, uh, and see what the go was, but it was successful and it worked. And it gave me a couple of new features, which I like. You, you can change the temperature and, you know, things like that. Anyway, that's enough for what we've done today. All, all we really wanted to look at today was the software side of it. Now I will do a uni uni dots it may be after the fermentation this will be going into a fermentation on friday so it'll be away for two weeks we'll see how much battery it uses in 14 days and then we might set up a uni dots i'll probably have my eye spindle about ready by then busy time of the year so guys neil from magpie brewing rattling on as usual Cheese.